Ogden fam, well, it's, it's two pointed tonight. But as the title says, the rapture is a private event. I think that'll be the title. But we're only also exposing who's the Antichrist. You know, we've said this in a video before, but who is he? Well, you might be surprised, but let's go on a bit further. But before I go on further, this channel is about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the advancement of the kingdom of our Father God. That's what we're in the world to do right now. Between harvests, okay, between celebrations, we work. Okay, okay, gathering in the harvest, whereby which if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved, you are saved. And then keep these things in your heart, keep following him, because when we're going through what we're going to go through tonight, you'll understand a bit better. But the rapture we're talking about, the rapture is a private event the world does not see, doesn't see it. It occurs between Jesus and the church, and there will be billions of people in the world here and instantly gone. No one knows why. Hmm. And they begin to try and explain what just happened. What just happened? Where have they gone? Where's my pilot gone? He was flying the plane a minute ago. Sorry, that side. So it's mirrored camera. He's, where did he go? Then he'll call the hostesses and no one will answer because they were all Christian as well. But that's what will happen. But at the end of the tribulation, according to Revelation 19, we return with Jesus after the marriage supper of the Lamb. Then they'll say, for seven years, the world has gone through tribulation down here. For seven years, we're having a wedding feast with Jesus in heaven. Amen. Amen. I can hear you all going, Amen. If Paul was saying in Thessalonians, hey, hey, it wasn't, it hasn't happened yet 2,000 years ago. How close are we now, 2,000 years further down the line? Very close. But talking of the Antichrist, who is he? Well, the twofold deception of the Antichrist is here. First is an outpouring of spiritual deception to incite the world to rebel against God. And that is happening. Anything godly, nobody wants. And I'm talking about their rebellion, they're persecuting Christians and all godliness the second is to seduce God's people with worldliness to keep them from trusting and serving him that's the biggie which I've could be accused I was in business but to seduce God's people with world, worldliness it's easy trap to fall into this is 1 John 2 15 to 18 remember John is the one who used the word antichrist do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that the world, for all is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. This helps us identify people on Discord, to be honest with you, try to steal our people. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it, but he who doth the will of God abides for ever. Little children, it is the last hour, and as you, you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. That was 2,000 years ago. They've been around a long time. The Antichrist has been here a long time. It's just not formed into a person yet. So Satan can't keep you from knowing God. He wants to keep you from trusting and serving God. He doesn't want the church to accomplish our mission so he will use the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the boastful pride of life to try and seduce us away from God. John says here that if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Are you trusting the world? Possessions? Pleasure? Positions? Are you trusting them to get you through? If your trust is in those things, you are not trusting in God the Father. And I've been through that struggle. This is a graduation, guys. This is a wake-up family to just say, look, let's re-examine this. Not that I suggest any of you care about any of the world. 
but I'm talking about those that have come to the server for the first time. Proverbs 10.22 The blessings of the Lord make one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. You know, quite recently I, I became, I closed the business down. I, it was killing me. It was no pleasure. It had a good reward, but it had no pleasure. And I, I lost it all, all the business. Um, and I was so glad. God took that business away and I'm so glad because he cares for me. Now I have, I drive my son's car, I drive my wife's car, but my own van is 14 years old. I want nothing but what I need to talk the God's message. That's all I need. But it was a trial to get there for me. But those who desire the rich to be rich fall into temptation and the snare and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. For, a, for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Just stop at that one, because have you ever really seen a happy rich man? Don't they always seem to have a burden? They wouldn't think so. We have a perfect father who wants to love us and take care of us. We don't need the world. We need God the Father. But the Antichrist spirit in the world right now is doing everything he can to try and seduce us with worldliness. Everything. Me too. Oh, I want something new. I want a new... <laughs> the question is, and the question is, it's not how much money we have, it's how much money, how much does money have us? Do not let the things you own own you. It's just prayer and turning around your mind. God will do the rest. Why? Because you have a perfect father and he's filthy rich and he loves to bless his children more than you love to bless your own children. And I'm talking for me, I'm not having a go. We don't need the stinking world. We have God as our Father. The Antichrist is here in the world right now and we must stand against him and expose him daily and live our faith right before Jesus. I'm just saying these things, brothers and sisters, in a loving sense to work out our wars and our battles, to get us to think and, and change and do the things that we know the Word tells us to do. This is scripture. I pray every day that I'll come up with the right thing to tell those who God has gifted me with to talk to. Because that's what I believe everyone out there is, a gift. And I have a big responsibility to talk God's word. But I'm not on my own. We have a place to go. Discord, okay? This is our server. Sorry about the name, we cannot change it. There is so much going on and here as you see the gifts and the chat in general chat here is quite funny and edifying and in fellowship rooms there is plenty here. There are fellowship rooms for you. There was someone baptised before virtually online by Grace Girl Victoria. Do contact her for that. We have a total of 3,090 people in there today and I do believe the Lord has given us that to do to bring us together for a final hour. I personally think we're waiting a few months. Okay, I'll say that. But it's so close because everything is so rampant in this last time. We know it's close. I've been trying to work. You know, I've just been through Trumpets, which is next Trumpet, September, October. Um, it's not too far away if that's the one. I'm not setting dates because no man knows the day or the hour. If it's Trumpets, it went over two days. And it went over two days because they had to find the new moon and get it back. So they made it over two days. So no one will know the day of the, or the hour. Even if I knew it was going to happen on trumpets, you would not know the day or the hour is what I'm saying. But I am not a date setter. Do not hound me. My job is to build up the fellowship, to evangelize the gospel out, which I'm hoping everybody is sharing this video because it's got the gospel at the beginning or it's got the message at the beginning. But join us on Discord. If you're struggling getting into any of the rooms, 
go back to a later video and try a, the, the fresher link. They're still using an old link because I haven't changed. It's a massive job to change all the videos after a mistake. But brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you with that one. I say may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Stay and always. God bless.